In this video, we want to show you how easy it is to set up and configure your EDC to integrate with Aldella for restaurants. And the integration is quite simple. You'll need to go to the back office of your Aldella for restaurants program, click on store settings, go to the revenue tab, and click configure EDC integration settings. When you launch the Aldello EDC client service configuration the for the first time, you'll be asked to enter in your EDC service host name or IP and EDC server application name. Your server application name will almost always be Aldello EDC unless you've changed this in your web services. Simply click update. And this will uh, let you know that you've connected. There's, your connection was successful in this case. Um, I have settings that also need to be updated, or for those update the for the settings to take effect, I need to uh, restart my software. You'll then log in using your EDC username and password. Once logged in, you'll need to put in your point of sale username, integration token, the batch user, and the batch user token. By default, these will be POS user and batch user. And you'll get the token information from your EDC. So at this time, you'll need to launch your EDC. And in your EDC, enter in the same username and password. and go to File and User Accounts. Select your POS user account and simply copy the token here. And paste it into where you have the POS token like that and do the same for the batch user. Once you've copied both your uh, usernames and tokens in there you can click verify users to check to make sure your user account information is correct and click update at the bottom. You will get a message that asks you to restart your AFR service um, which we'll do momentarily. Once you've done that click this station if you need to set up your auto batch time that you wish to trigger from this station, you'll be able to do that right here. I'm going to go ahead and set mine up to where it triggers at 9 a.m. like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click update so it saves these settings for me automatically. And if this is the first time you've ever installed your service, There'll be a button here that says Install Service that'll be lit up. You'll go ahead and click on that. That will install the service for you. If you're updating your service information like we are, you'll simply click Stop Service here. You'll get a message here that uh, notifies you that the service has been stopped. And you'll go ahead and click Run Service. And again, you'll get a notification saying that the service is running. At this time, uh, this station is now completely set up and ready to go. You'll be able to verify this in your point of sale by going welcome and exit. In your point of sale, simply click save and done. And you'll see at the bottom here where it says EDC service and it has your uh, loopback address and your, your uh, port that you've connected to. This will indicate that your service is now connected and that you're ready for credit card processing on this station. When you set up uh, credit card processing on subsequent stations, you will not need to input the username or token. That information will be saved from station to station. But you will still need to install the service. If you're updating your information, uh, such as what time you're going to be triggering a batch, you will need to stop your service and restart your service for that change to take effect. But that's how easy it is to do your configuration and set up your EDC installation. Thank you.